Get the most complete tiling DVD ever developed. Planning, installation, regulations, maintenance, and more. Buy it today at agphd.com and order your copy of my new book, $100 an hour jobs, lessons from dad, all at agphd.com. Well, Darren and I have had an interesting morning so far. Uh, <laughs> Darren's been sitting here, I'm getting bit up, and I go, Darren, gnats don't bite. Well, there's some mosquitoes out here too, but you know, you just look around, they say wherever you are in the world, there's a spider within six feet of you. I don't think it has to be that way, Brian. There don't have to be spiders and ants crawling yep. all over me at my house. I mean, I should be safe at my own home, shouldn't yep. I? Yep. So today during our Farm Basics time, we wanted to talk about lawn and home insect control. We'll even give you a solution for those pesky gnats, dear. <laughs> well, I guess there are a lot of different insects out there, and they all serve a purpose in nature. We're not saying that uh, every insect in every inch of the world needs to be gone. I just don't want to have them right around my house so I can sit outside on my porch or on my deck. So when you think about these types of insects, for me, that leads my agronomy-based mind to insecticide. And what kind of insecticide can I use safely around my pets and around my children? And the answer to that question is a product called Tempo. It's the synthetic reproduction of the insect killing power of the chrysanthemum flower. So it's basically like sprinkling a flower all around your house and maybe even inside your house. You know, with Tempo, it is labeled to use inside the home, inside schools, inside hospitals. It is relatively safe to humans, but just like how some humans are allergic to certain flowers, you might have a few people who are allergic to Tempo. It's what's called a skin sensitizer. So it's not gonna kill you or anything like that, but you might get a rash. So the point is spray it, and as soon as it is dried on to the grass, then you're safe to turn your animals and your kids loose again in your yard. Okay, let's talk about yard because a lot of these insects you see, maybe you see a cricket running across the ground or you see an ant out there, but you might not see what's going on below the ground. Things like grubs could be destroying your lawn and you see brown patches in the lawn. You wonder, man, I haven't seen a single bug crawl across the top. What's going on? Well, if you pull that sod back and look underneath and you find grubs, what can you do for grubs? The question that I get most often is, I've got moles out in my yard and they say, what can I do to kill those moles? And I say, no, you don't want to kill the moles. They're good, they're actually helping you. What you want to do is get rid of the food for the moles, and then the moles will leave. The food is the grubs. And you can do, well, I'm, I'm just saying, you can go out there with a dry product, imidacloprid. It's the same active ingredient as you would find in gaucho insecticide. That is also relatively safe to humans. It's in the nicotine family. It's a neonicotinoid for a pesticide. You put this stuff out there, you water it in, it does drive away those grubs or even kill the grubs, and then your moles go away, your lawn can straighten back out again, everything's great. But what about these darn gnats, Brian? They're <laughs> They're just, just bothering me today. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just fine, Darren. So here, I'm watching here's... them crawl around on you, so you must <laughs> so have the, a tolerance. The, the trouble with the gnats is this. They can fly, they can move very quickly from your neighbor's place over to your place. You think <laughs> you're in good shape for gnats. You've got your imidacloprid down, your tempo, you spray it on the lawn. It may not be enough. So what we have found is the best combination, and we got this from our great aunt. She told us well, this, this is, few this years is an back. old Norwegian recipe. <laughs> yep, it's half vanilla and half vinegar. So half vanilla extract and half vinegar. You do that, you put a little bit around you. Now, I'm not gonna say you're gonna smell good coming out of this. It's not that but bad. But it though. does repel those gnats. It, it, it's, it's like magic. So that's what we would suggest you do. The, the problem is we didn't bring any along with us today. <laughs> and, and both of us are like, hey, have you got bug spray? No, we don't. Oh, man. Well, you're just gonna have to deal with it if you, if you don't. But there are a lot of things you can do about insects. You don't have to let them ruin your summer and you can enjoy being outside regardless of where you're at. Well, one thing you don't wanna let ruin your crop is our Weed of the Week. We'll tell you how to stop it later in the show.